recover people who will not be slaves again. When the beating of your heart echoes the beating of the drums, there is a life about to start when tomorrow comes. Will you join in our crusade? Who will be strong and stand with me? Beyond the barricade, is there a world you want to see? Then join in the fight that will give you the right to be free. Do you hear the people sing? Singing the song of angry men. It is the music of a people who will not be slaves again. When the beating of your heart echoes the beating of the drums, there is a life about to start tomorrow. <coughs> Will you give all you can give so there's a battle may advance? Some will fall and some will live. Will you stand up and take a chance? The blood of the martyrs will water the meadows of France. Do you hear the people sing? Sing the song of angry men. It is the music of the people who will not be slaves again. When the beating of your heart, <laughs> the beating of the drums, there is a life about to start when tomorrow comes. This is Colin. And I'm Paul. And together we are... The Mr. Mighty Ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mr. Thoughts. Anyway, we're doing something special again. This time we're going to the Pantages to go see... Les Mis this time. And I'm pretty sure you got from our introduction with our famous... <laughs> <laughs> fabulous singing. Fabulous singing on the uh, uh, karaoke... Simon Cowell has, <laughs> has nothing to worry about. <laughs> we're, we're going to the Pantages Theater again for, you know, I don't know, is this the 6th or 15th? Uh, 6th. 6th of the I think 6th. So, and this is <clears throat> a tiny production called Les Miserables. <laughs> a very, very small. <laughs> and this is my favorite among all, so I already know I'm going to like it. But, um... To those who don't know yet, uh, Les Miserables is a historic uh, French novel uh, written by Victor Hugo in 1832. Um, the musical came about and was first uh, produced in 1980 in Paris, France, and then in 1985 over to West End in London. I think it's one of the longest running uh, musical productions. Oh. This is a story about uh, a French peasant named um, Jean Valjean and he, this is a story about his redemption. He was incarcerated and then he broke his parole and he was incessantly chased by a French police inspector by the name of Javert. And the intertwining of the characters uh, led them to the uh, French uh, revolt, which many people think was a French revolution, but actually it is not. It is not. The, the French Revolution actually happened about a hundred years earlier. But you'll see in Les Mis that there is a revolt scene, but it has nothing to do with the French Revolution. Actually, uh, in 1832, uh, it was called the July 5 revolt, which basically had to do with economics. It was the, the working class uh, greatly being uh, disintegrated, and the wage income was really, really uh, stretched and widened badly. So the 
So they organized a revolt, and it turns out over 100,000 workers and students crowded the streets of Paris. Now, the French army was dispatched to quell this revolt, but instead of doing that, they opened fire on the crowd, killing a lot and actually fueling this, uh, this revolt. Victor Hugo, the writer, the writer of Les Mis, uh, was nearby, and instead of going home, he actually went toward the fighting and joined the fighting, and he was actually there during that event. So he's actually part of that revolt. Yeah, he yeah he was. And he came out writing that later on, in many years after that. In in 1862. 1862. Uh, but the events occurred that. about 1815 to 1832. Mm -hmm. Now, incidentally, uh, you may remember uh, from your literary history that Victor Hugo also wrote uh, a little little tiny snippet called The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Same author. Same author. And interestingly enough, uh, The Hunchback that he wrote was just one year prior to the events of Les Mis. And, and if you look at both of them, there's a lot more similarities than there are differences between the two. So we're looking forward to seeing this production. Where are we? In Los Angeles. Um, the musical production was originally done, uh, the music by Claude Michel Schoenberg, mm -hmm. and the, orig the French lyrics is done by Alain Bobil. There was an English translation to that as well, but uh, under Cameron McIntosh uh, as a producer. And this group of this team of people is also the same team who actually did Miss Saigon, which come up at the end of well, the uh, series, that's which is also favorite. one of our my yeah. favorites. So both of their productions are excellent. We know we're gonna enjoy this uh, show, but but the only thing I'm kind of looking forward to is for the performers in this Los Angeles uh, production to be at least at par or near par with some of the greatest uh, uh, performers and singers and actors who have actually done the roles. Um, We're really hoping. Yeah. yeah, one of the best ones are um, <clears throat> Colm Wilkinson who played Jean Valjean. He's just wonderful, excellent singer. He can hold the notes forever. <laughs> <laughs> That's how good he is. And of course the one that played Javert was really good was Philip Quast. Oh, I think he was like the quintessential. Yes. Yeah. Um, from the movie, he played the Javert. He's a good actor, but he's not a good singer. R Russell Crowe. <laughs> Russell Crowe yeah. was actually kind of like a disappointment in that one. But nonetheless, um, and then, you know, the one that played Fantine the most and the greatest, I mean, is Ruthie Henshaw. I mean, she is just wonderful. The one that I really like, however, was the was Anne Hathaway from the movie. Uh, her rendition, especially when she sings uh, some of her songs, uh, really brought me to tears on some of the numbers. Yes, yeah, it's very heart-wrenching. Yeah. And I think she won an Academy Award for Best Supporting for that role. I mean, it's a short uh, role, but just uh, the emotions that she poured into this performance is just exceptional. And of course, who would not forget the best who ever played Eponine. Oh, for, oh, for it's, sure. It's um, Leia Salonga. Oh, yeah. Uh, she did wonderful in this, among all the others. And also, worth mentioning, is the one who played Play Marius Marius. the best. I think it would be Michael Ball. And of course, the, the movie version had Eddie Redmayne. And, if, and you know that Eddie Redmayne had a has a theater background, and he's done a lot of stage. He has a voice that's just phenomenal. And I think in the movie, he has the best uh, singing voice. Oh, I think. Of out of all characters. Of yeah. So we're excited. Uh, we're going to see my most favorite musical. And, and, this is my, and this is my second most favorite. The My most favorite is going to be coming up next, next time. <laughs> so you stay tuned, and we'll let you know. <laughs> so, all righty, well then. We'll, we'll see you when we're there. All right, guys. We'll see you back. And after we see the production, we'll, we'll tell you a little about 
how we feel about it. Yeah. All right. Well, until later on, then. See you later. Okay. I didn't really like the seat that I was in. <laughs> I was really good. I love every single performance. The guy that played uh, John Valjean. John Valjean oh my was God. Magnificent. He oh, was great. He was fantastic. Um, Epamine, also. Epamine. Epamine. Yeah. They're all good. I mean, yeah. it, it really is. Um, it's full of emotion. Um, you, it will take you to uh, to new heights and um, lows. And well, it will also go take you through a roller coaster of emotions. So your, your highs, your lows. It, it gives you tears and, and and you scream for joy and everything in between. So we enjoyed it a lot, and you know, uh, good to musical is when there's a lot of applause and whistling and cut calls and all that and it's plenty of this in the show and we're not talking about just at the end we're talking about after each number yes. and with and with thunderous applause and hoops and hollers even i was like hollering like he was he was and and at the end everybody Everybody, there, there wasn't one person sitting down. Everybody, and the applause was not only heartfelt, but it was thunderous. So, there you go. Um, a, something that you should actually come and watch. Oh, you absolutely. will love it, you won't regret it. Oh, it is fantastic. We give this 1200 thumbs up. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell to uh, so you know when all the new footage comes out. And as we always try to say, don't forget to to dream, explore, and discover. So until next time, do you hear the people sing singing with songs of angry men? <laughs>